G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, I'm going to be giving you a bit of an update on what's happened with my Neo Lampro Logo Slay Loopy. So let's get straight into the video. So in pretty much almost the last video of the year, I made a video about me purchasing some Tanganyika cichlids, uh, some of the best quality I've seen of uh, this species in a very long time. And I bought four of them and put them in this quarantine tank. And as you can see, probably on camera, there's one swimming around uh, on the left there. And uh, you probably can't see any others. There is another one at, coming out of the mouth of this cave that's in the center of the tank. And I, again, I had four. And now there is only two in this tank. So you can see that other fish there just swim away. And the reason there is only two in this tank is because these guys are spawned. <laughs> um, I really can't believe that I got a pair out of the four that I bought for adults and that they've spawned already. These guys are in quarantine still. Uh, they're going to be in quarantine for another three weeks and then I can put them in the system behind me, uh, my 2000 litre system. And yeah, I just, I'm just astounded. I, I, I thought I was lucky enough to be able to purchase four of these uh, beautiful Neolamprologus Leilupi. And, to, and I didn't think my chances were good to get a pair out from four. I purchased what I thought were two males and two females. And in the video, I even said, I think I'd be very, very lucky to get a pair. Uh, I didn't think I'd be this lucky to get a pair out of them three weeks in. And in that video, I showed a male and a female hiding underneath the cave where you see the male on the right there. Uh, that was pretty much the moment I put him in the tank and, and it looked like I had a pair straight off the bat. And I sent a video to my cousin, Adam. You've seen his fish rooms on my channel. If you haven't, you can watch the videos right here. Uh, and when he saw the footage, he said, yep, yeah, that looks like you've got a pair there. And I didn't really believe it at first. I thought that I was very hopeful that, it, that they would be a pair. Uh, I just didn't believe at first that a pair would form that quickly <laughs> straight out of the bag into a quarantine tank uh, with Le Lupi. And, and uh, the, the, the very next day, they're, they're, those, those the two smaller Le Lupi that were in this tank, which I suspect are both females, uh, were hiding behind the sponge filters and had um, darkened up a little from the stress of being chased by the two larger Le Lupis, which I believed uh, were both males. However, this, that little female lay loopy that you saw swimming to the back of the tank then, uh, she persisted with her courtship of this largest male. And he grew to accept her over the last two and a half weeks. At the time, Adam said, you will breed them within two weeks. And I've got the WhatsApp message uh, where he sent that on the 21st of December. He said to me, you will breed these guys in two weeks. And he said, put a, put a cave in there and uh, they should breed for you. And I didn't put a cave in straight away because I was getting ready to make a tutorial. If you saw last week's video, uh, my first video of 2021, I showed you guys how to make two bristlenose or cichlid uh, caves in the one go by using a hole saw and sandwiching these caves together. And these are the caves here. And obviously they love these caves um, because that female took residence up pretty much the day I made those caves and four days later I noticed she had spawned in the cave and here's the eggs here so at the time I had noticed that the spawn uh, had happened I still had the excess male and excess female a loopy that were getting bashed by these courted pair uh, in this tank and they were really dark so I got them out of the tank took a bit of work uh, mainly because I noticed that that excess male had found his way into the cave and started eating some of the eggs and had kicked out some of the eggs, unfortunately. So um, I was really annoyed about that and I managed to catch him without removing too many of the rocks and the excess female and put him in quarantine in the system behind me. So they're in quarantine in the tanks behind me at the moment. Uh, these eggs hatched this morning. So I have wrigg wriggling fry now and you can see them in the footage here. I could just make them out in the reflection of the bare bottom tank. And, and also, since removing the excess lay loopies, 
uh, from this tank. The colors of these of this pair have, have started to brighten up again. Uh, I have noticed that because of the black walls on this tank and the black bare bottom, they have darkened up a little bit. They have lost a little bit of that brilliant coloration, but it is coming back now that these parents, that this pair is no longer stressed out uh, and it's coming back in the pair that aren't with them anymore um, in the tank behind me, in the system behind me. So their coloration is coming back. Um, and I am going to put in some white coral sand in uh, this tank here because I don't want the babies to be a dark, muddy color. So I'll be doing that in the next day or two, uh, just putting a sprinkling, a light layer of coral sand on the bottom of the tank and hopefully the color of these parents will improve even more. I'm a bit worried about the transition of this Leilupi pair into the system behind me when, I, when they do come out of quarantine. You know, they're gonna have fry with them. It, it's probably gonna mean that I have to delay the move of these guys into the system behind me and uh, just so they can bring up their, their fry in here. And I obviously don't wanna break the bond either because, you know, you can break, uh, the Leilupi bond isn't exactly a strong one, uh, but I'm hopeful that the bond will, will be fine and I'll make that transition one day and uh, hopefully it will be uh, reformed at some point in the future but for now these guys it's looking that they're going to be in here for a little bit longer than the two or three weeks that uh, they have remaining in their quarantine. Normally people recommend that you buy at least four juveniles, uh, better to buy about six or eight juveniles and let them grow up together and a pair will naturally form amongst that group and um, I haven't done that here, uh, but <laughs> very, very lucky, extremely lucky. Um, you might be able to try this yourself, uh, but it, there's no guarantees when you buy adult fish that you will get a pair. Even if you buy a, an adult breeding pair, there's no guarantees that they will spawn for you in your tank. So uh, extremely lucky, I'm extremely grateful, and yeah, I am cheering. So there you go, <laughs> just really amazing way to start 2021 with the first fish that I spawned for the year being my new Neolamprologus Leilupi. So I purchased the Neolamprologus Leilupi on the 19th of December 2020 and they spawned for me on the 6th of January 2021. So if you don't include the date that I purchased them uh, in that, then that's because I put them in the tank at around 6 to 7 p.m. that day. That means I spawned them within 20 days of purchasing them. Uh, so I just can't believe it. Within a month, I had got a pair to form from these adults and managed to spawn them still while they're in quarantine. I just did not expect that. I thought I'd be extremely lucky to get a pair to form within a four month time frame, uh, let alone to spawn them within a month. That's just nuts. If you had told me that that would happen, I'd tell you you're crazy, uh, but it's happened. So extremely exciting, really happy, really surprised as you can tell. Uh, but what do you guys think? I wanna hear from you guys that uh, people who have purchased cichlids and then bred them very quickly. What species of cichlids were they? And how long did it take you to get them to spawn? I know there are some species of cichlids out there that are quite easy to breed, such as convict cichlids. You can probably breed them in the bag and they'd breed on the way home from the aquarium shop. Uh, but yeah, just really interested to hear from you guys and what species of fish that you have spawned very quickly. So there you have it guys, my video on me spawning my Neolamprologus Leilupi already. Really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe buttons, and even share the video if you can. I really would appreciate it. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.